Hey guys and welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and today I'm gonna start doing some maintenance on my Africa Twin. It's time uh, to do a couple things. In uh, one of the last videos I did the uh, rear bearings. It's time to do the fork service. So I want to do the ch ch change the oil on the front forks. I'm not gonna disassemble the whole front forks. There's no point. Uh, everything was done uh, just a couple years ago. I put uh, new seals and uh, I, I use the SKF seals. At the same time, once I have everything apart, I will do the front wheel bearings and also most likely I will change the front brakes. I'm not sure if the brakes uh, will need to be changed uh, yet, but uh, as soon as I get to it, I'll check it out. Uh, last time I was looking, uh, they were just uh, getting a bit low, so uh, maybe once I have everything apart, I'll go uh, and uh, change that stuff. So next uh, couple of videos, it's uh, gonna be basically related to the service on this uh, bike, uh, it's, uh, it requires a little bit of attention. It was a tough season of off-road riding and uh, pretty harsh riding conditions. Uh, it's a good idea to change that oil, so it has been a couple of years uh, since I upgraded the springs on it. I originally went with the Hyper Pro, uh, Progressive uh, Plus uh, 20 millimeter springs. Uh, they were done two years ago, but now it's time again and I will start uh, basically taking everything apart and pull out the forks and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Uh, the, probably that's one of the most uh, simple ways uh, to do it um, without uh, disassembling the whole fork and uh, everything else that goes with it. Let's get into the video and uh, I'll start prepping and we'll get at it. So we'll start first uh, with removing the front fender. So you will be using five millimeter uh, Allen key. So you got two screws over here, one screw over here, and the same on the other side. And, and then there is uh, one more screw here that's uh, eight millimeter that's holding the brake lines. So you want to remove that bracket and be careful because there's little washers that they fall out always. I'll jump on the, on the other side and I'll do the same thing. I'm not gonna move the camera over. Next thing you have to pop that little piece that holds those brake lines. Just be careful with that. You can easily break those tabs on there. They should slide easy, but sometimes they just being stubborn. There we go. Right here, there's a little rabbit, a rubber grommet that holds the speed sensor. So gently pull that out of there. All right, this is it. Quite muddy. And we'll go back on the other side, same idea. So we got the front fender out. All right, so next thing you want to undo your speed sensor. I have installed the ROX uh, risers, so normally you wouldn't have that, but since I have the ROX risers, I'm gonna have to loosen these guys up as well. Okay, I got it out. I'm not gonna take the whole Thing off just to loosen it up. So next thing what I'll do, I'll take off my brakes calipers. So the brakes uh, calipers, uh, they're 14 millimeter socket. And gently pull them out of there. Whoa. 
Well, believe it or not, there's still quite a bit of left. So I'm not gonna change it, but so at this point, your best bet is probably to mount these uh, somehow so they are not uh, putting pressure on the hoses anywhere. So I will grab a tire up and I'll mount it up. Okay, this is the first one. I'm not filming really the other side because it's the uh, same idea, the same uh, two screws to remove it. Tie it up and same idea on the other side. Once we slide it out of there. All right, so now they're safely hanging. I will remove my shock socks. So next thing would be to jack up the front a little bit. So you want to have your front wheel off the ground. And I use a piece of wood underneath my skid plate. So at this point, 22 millimeter socket. And you can start taking your front axle out. So just loosen that up. And next thing, uh, release the uh, pinch bolts on both sides. So that one here, that should be, if I remember correctly, 12 mil. So 12 millimeters and release those pinch bolts. There's two on each side. You don't need to take them out, just loosen them out. Now I can completely remove the axle nut. You can use rubber mallet to gently tap it out of there. Makes it a bit easier. And just pull it out on the other side. All right, at this point, you wanna keep this stuff clean and as you see, I had it nicely looped. The loop is still there. Uh, it's in good condition. So I'm gonna clean it up after, before I put it together, reapply the new lube. And uh, yeah, just keep it safe so it's out of dirt, uh, so it's not uh, gonna get dirty anywhere. So once you take your wheel out, you got two spacers on both sides. So just remember about those things. And at this point, we have the front wheel out and uh, I will start uh, getting those bearings. So first I'll do the bearings and uh, then uh, I'll get into the shocks. So first thing, you want to pop your seals off and uh, to do that, you can just uh, use a small screwdriver and that should, well, actually, hang on a second. You can use a screwdriver, but I also have one of those uh, seal pullers and I use a little uh, hose that's cut. And I should be able to do it with this thing. Very easy. And the seal is out. Well, surprisingly, this bearing doesn't look too bad, but I'm not taking chances. I don't want to happen whatever happened last time. All right, so I had to remove the uh, I had to remove the rotors on both sides because I had a hard time to uh, put my tool. And uh, right now, bearing remover, just lifting out the bearing out of the place. And I got it. So the bearing is nicely intact. So once you take out the bearing, there is your spacer in the middle. And then I will flip it over to the other side. You just gotta remember which side you had your um, speed sensor. So that's uh, probably important. 
so you have to be careful on that one. So now uh, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So as you see, I just uh, took off the brake, uh, the, the, the rotors, and I'm using just the pieces of wood to have a little bit of leverage. Tighten, tighten up the jaws and same idea start slowly pulling it once you don't have the axle it should go much easier because there's more room for the little jaws to grab on. There's a special tools uh, for the motorcycle wheel bearings, but I've been using this one here and it does the job every time. And there we go. Another bearing just came out. And we're ready to put in the new bearings at this point. All right, so I'm using Honda OEM parts and the part number for the bearings and then this is your seal part number. So now to reinstall it, it's uh, pretty simple. You want to use a piece of wood not to damage anything. I have those big uh, chunks of wood. You lay it down right here and a little bit of grease. And now start gently tapping that in. My microphone here decided to quit, but at this point you keep on tapping until you hear a different sound. It will start sounding different once you hit the bottom of the hub. Apply a little bit of grease on the inside where the bearing is, a new bearing is located and also put some grease on the inside of the seal that uh, makes the seal easier to slide in and at the same time it prevents all the water and debris from getting into the spaces where you don't want it. To drive the seal in, I'm using just a little plastic ring uh, for installing the seals on the bearings. Uh, I bought a kit at local hardware store and I'm not even using the shaft, just the, uh, the ring itself uh, to tap it in. Uh, flip the wheel on the other side. Don't forget to install your spacer and apply a little bit of grease and drive another bearing inside again i'm using the same tool that i was using uh, when i was uh, installing the bearings on my rear wheels so just gently tap it in and don't bang it in the middle i just move the tool around and once your bearing is in same idea as the previous one apply a little bit of grease uh, on a bear on top of the bearing and inside the, sh the seal this way you'll be able to install that seal much easier
once you install your bearings and the seals inside um, just get a cloth and wipe out the excess grease that will come out because there's always some going to come out so now it's time to reassemble the rotors I like to apply a little bit of blue Loctite on it So the torque spec on those bolts is uh, 15 pounds. I don't have a small torque wrench, so I'm gonna have to go just by feel. And just to make sure to install those bolts in a crisscross pattern, that's pretty standard procedure, but I just wanna remind. It will be a good time now to reinstall the spacers, this way I don't lose them while I'm continuing to work on my uh, suspension. I'm not sure if that matters what side is uh, what, but uh, I always keep them on the side that I took it out of, so easy for me to remember where it goes. So this is it, uh, the job is finished, I have new bearings installed on, on the front wheel of my Africa Twin, everything went pretty smooth uh, once you, uh, with that $25 tool that I used on my rear wheel uh, when I was doing the bearings, um, quite easy but uh, with this tool you, you actually have to take the rotors of the of the wheel where the, like the, the, the one that you can pull uh, you don't probably you don't have to take the rotor out of the uh, wheel assembly. So that's that's the only downside. I hope you found it helpful. If you didn't, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. That's always very appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video where I will be working on uh, oil change on my front forks on my Africa Twin, and I'll show you the quickest way to change the oil on the uh, new forks. I also link the card right here so you can check out the install of the bearings on the rear wheel on the Africa Twin. Uh, pretty much the same procedure except there's three bearings uh, versus two on the front. Thank you for watching and until next time.